सो हैव यू एवर सीन अ काउ जस्ट स्टैंडिंग स्टिल चूइंग एंड चूइंग एंड चूइंग बट नॉट ईटिंग एनी थिंग न्यू यू माई थिंक इज इट बोर्ड और मे बी इवन इट्स जस्ट सिली लेट्स क्लियर दिस अप काउ सर एंड बींग लेजी और वियर्ड दे आर एक्चुअली डूइंग समथिंग ब्रिलियंट इन साइड दैट बॉडी लेट्स फाइंड आउट वॉट्स गोइंग ऑन बिहाइंड दैट कॉन्स्टेंट चूइंग so when cows are ideally chewing the grass and uh, you wonder that grass might be soft right but it's tough why well for that we have to zoom in a bit so if you zoom in on this tiny grass they are full of something called cellulose cellulose it's a natural material found in plant cells and it's hard to digest for most animals and even for humans so why do cows and buffaloes eat it all the time because their bodies have a smart system for it let's see how animals like cows buffaloes and goats or even deer are called ruminants and here's what they do differently they don't waste time chewing every bit slowly instead they quickly swallow their food and send it straight to a chamber called rumen as you can see in the diagram here rumen is a sac like structure that is present right after the esophagus in uh, such animals what happens in rumen for that let's zoom on that rumen inside the rumen tiny bacteria begin working on that tough cellulose it's almost like they are snipping it apart with their weapons and team work and that's how that and hard to digest grass becomes a useful energy for cows and other ruminants but the job is not done yet after a while this food now the we call it cud that comes back up in their mouth and yes that's what animals are keep chewing they chew that cud properly and this whole process is what we call rumination in other words by that constant chewing basically these ruminants are not wasting their time or they are not stupid or lazy they are just completing their digestion it's just that we have to zoom in on the process a bit to understand what is going on so are all herbivores ruminants nope not all grass eating animals are ruminants in fact horse and rabbits they don't have rumen instead they have a special bag like part between their small and large intestine which is known as cecum this cecum although it is different from ruminant it conducts the same process of digesting cellulose using the similar type of bacteria so the setup is different but the work and workers are similar even if they all e- eat plants so wait a minute our parents practically threaten us to eat greens we always hear this from our parents from every elder around us that you must eat your green veggies you must eat your vegetables you must eat your leafy vegetables so what happens there can we human digest cellulose the greens that we eat also have cellulose in them and we don't have structures like rumen or cecum in us that helps us digest the cellulose we don't even have the special bacteria in our uh, stomach that would help us to digest this so the simple truth is that we cannot digest the cellulose so what happens to that cellulose in the spinach that we eat it just passes out as a waste yep plant parts leave our body unchanged and when i say plant parts i only mean some plant parts again this does not mean that you must not eat your green veggies uh, since it is going to waste the simple idea is that we do not use the cellulose of those plants we use other important nutrients from those plants and those nutrients are super important for us the nutrients and their significance their importance in the growth of body is something that we have covered in our other videos or even in your previous grades right you can check those videos out but the base idea is that we mostly digest the nutrient around the cellulose not the cellulose itself in short if we want to summarize the digestion in herbivores 
we can begin by saying about rumination which is digestion in ruminants what are ruminants those are animals which upon taking the food the food is transfer transferred to a particular uh, part called rumen and there the food is converted to curd where the cellulose within the food is digested and this curd comes back in the mouth and that, that is how the whole process of rumination occurs cellulose is a tough building component as we saw and it is very hard to digest unless you have a special help from bacteria who can help you digest it humans cannot digest cellulose we pass it on as a waste but we what we use is the important nutrients around the cellulose that we have in our greens not all herbivores are ruminants as some of them like uh, hoes and rabbits they have special structures called cecum we also saw that all plant foods are not equally digestible across all the animals as we saw that different animal would digest it differently and in the similar manner different plant parts are digested in different manners and last is that in short the long chewing by animals that we normally see is actually a smart digestion not their laziness so here's a question for you if cow's food get digested in its rumen and your food gets digested in your stomach then what happens when we take medicines don't they get digested to how do they work where do they travel do they travel to some place else well put on your hard thinking cap and let's find out in some other video in some other grades for that till that keep exploring the science